everyone, she can reporting for the festival. So, it's been a long time since I touched any Dutch product in this game. So, I decided maybe for today, I visit the V10 of the Dutch, which is, well, sadly, it has been axed uh, last year, unfortunately, which is a pretty sad news for me. Uh, well, this is the Dutch Viper SRT-10. This is the 2013 version, and I give it my livery, which is, well, livery that I love, basically. Because, well, obviously I made it by myself. And, well, let's just go into the modification because I don't have much to say. I mean, I love the model of the car, but, well, yeah, I mean, I've probably everyone already know what I'm going with this here and there, but, well, as usual, I'm keeping it as a real drive because this car is wild with that. And I love it. And you don't have an option anyway to choose for the engine because you only have the V10 for this. I mean, you still can swap the drive train and give it a twin turbo. Or even a positive displacement supercharger and centrifugal supercharger, but I don't change that. So it's completely naturally aspirated because I love my cars in naturally aspirated setup. And well, for the aero, not much really because you only have this usual stuff from Forza, which is kind of working, especially with the wing. It kind of works almost like an ACR version of it. Yes, this is the GTS, so it doesn't have that, but ACR has the wing, but it's a different wing. So, the Viper ACR is actually kind of looks like this, but not really on this one. <laughs> yeah, basically I'm making an ACR, aren't I? Anyway. Um, for the tire, I obviously picked the Restart compound, and well, I increased the front to 305, and the rear... I set the rear to 365, so yeah, it has a massive tire on the back, and it still don't help much. <laughs> if you're being stupid, it's not going to help you out. Um, drive train obviously maxed out, I mean, this is an S1 class, obviously I maxed out everything on that one. Um, well, brakes, race brakes, race suspensions, roll bars maxed out, no anti-roll bar. Even though I want it, but uh, you know I'm not doing really that. And well, for for once, I'm not going to do any weight reduction because just for the lols. I mean, it's already pretty like I mean 3,138. My Dodge Charger is a lot heavier, to be honest. So yeah, it's a lot lighter. Oh, by the way, you can just see those subtle paint job there. Probably not. Well, that's good then. Uh. Now for the main bits here, we have race intake, uh, race manifold of the throttle body, uh, stock fuel system, stock ignition, race exhaust, race cam and valves, stock valves, stock engine block, race pistons, stock oil cooling, and well, race flywheel. So. Not sure if this car is actually legal on the road, but I kind of want to drive it on the real world, actually. <laughs> so, in total, it has 743 horsepower with 656 foot-pound of torque, and it weighs 3,138 pound. It's almost 50-50 in terms of weight distribution, so that's a good thing. And it has a displacement of 8.4 liter, sort of. So, that said, I mean, this thing looks good with this all crazy wings from Forza. Actually, looks good for once. I kind of wish they have they give us more options for the model at least, but eh, you know, it's fine. Anyway, with that said, let's go to the Pincer Pincher and see what it can do. Okay, before we start, 
Let's hear those beautiful V10 on this game. I, ha I haven't heard it for a while. Maybe it's nice. I don't know. So, um, no, not that. Not much of a sound, to be honest, but it's good enough. I mean, it sounds different, that's for sure. Uh, let's go to the demo version of this, obviously. And, well, see how it performs. So, yeah. I've actually had this cartoon for quite some times. And basically, today is just me trying to, you know, warm up again with the game. Because, well. Three weeks is a long time for a break, especially from a race. Because if possible, you go to a track day once a week, right? At the very least. Uh, is pretty normal. So yeah, let's go. Oh wow! Give it a little too much throttle at the beginning there. So far, so good. I mean, I mean, it's a Viper, of course, it's good. Not as good as a supercar, but it's good in its way, that's for sure. I mean, as, if I remember correctly, it's one of the top tier S1, I think? No, I think it's S2. Okay, I'm breaking way too early, you know, not. But then again, I don't remember much of this track. I mean, three weeks is enough to make me forget anything. Uh, well, at least like, uh, well, at, at the very least, most of the stuff that I do want to remember, but the one that I don't want to remember, I keep that for so long. It's kind of hard to forget about it. Ooh, tails out. That's Viper for you. I'm not sure if I actually show this to... Uh, show this car on my channel before, but you know what, I'm just going to drive it again. I mean, the car is pretty wild. And can be really understeering if I don't do it. give it a bit of a throttle. That's probably something of my anti robot or something. Ooh, too much throttle. Yeah, if you give it too much throttle, it will spin. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. By the way, did I say. Oh yeah, I forgot. This track is for uh, time attack only. I mean, it's pretty nice to drive, and I cut the entire corner there, because I can. Yeah, okay, a little too fast on the corner, on that corner there. And I'm on the wrong line. But car is actually pretty good to drive. I do like it, maybe more of a cruiser for me. Crossing around with this car around the horizon map should be fun. Yeah, I know, just crossing with a high performance car. I mean, everyone can do that. I mean, when you have a car, you can do whatever you want, actually. Whatever you really want with the car, at least. As long as it's legal as well. Because sometimes, what you really want isn't really legal in the eyes of government, unfortunately. Especially speeding. I love speeding a lot. <laughs> but, you know. The car is actually pretty good on, in terms of acceleration. It's something actually good for a naturally aspirated S1 class. Oh no, too, mm, I didn't turn enough there. Yeah, I didn't turn enough actually on that one. 
uh, not the color fault, that one is on me. But, yeah, this car is so nice. So comfortable, actually. Yeah, you don't say Viper and comfortable in one word. <laughs> this effort, I do find it comfortable enough to drive. I mean, I can trust the car more than my friends sometimes. Oh, that's a nice snow, and I never done that more better than that. So what I'm trying to say is, you can trust this car better than any other people that you've met. <laughs> I don't know, I just have that feeling. I mean, it doesn't slow down as much as well on brakes, but... And it still feels fast around the corner. Okay, that may be a little bit slow, but that was on me. Okay, that's a little too fast. I forgot what this turn. But no, the car is. Oh my god. I can pass this car any day at any time. But then, if I do something stupid, this car will bite my ass. <laughs> and it will be a really painful experience to have. But you know, it has a feed cam. So that's obviously a nice thing. But sadly, it's a lot of introduction and. Catching up now. Okay, where is the third? <laughs> but it is nice. Okay, don't spin that one out, please. I want to crash on this car. I mean, I don't want to crash it, but I don't want to do it again. If possible. Okay, let's hide that line. Not well, but good enough. This guy can be really drifty, that's for sure. Oh, what the? There's a hole there. I mean, I've seen a few videos about glitch recently and apparently there are some holes on the track and maybe that's one of them I don't really pay any attention that much on that one come on can I take some race um, well I may be able to do it but I don't trust myself more than the car actually Yep, I need to lift off a little bit there. If I keep going with the throttle, it will go under steam actually. But, you know, car is nice. Okay, a little bit too ambitious on the corner then. Yeah, that was a bad one for me. I'm trying to do some things here and there. Okay, apparently I have to stay on fourth gear. Oh wow, that's from GT. <laughs> of course, it's it went fast. It's for GT. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and what was styling on me? So apparently it's a for GT, and it's the 2005 version. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, car is. Pretty nice. That's all I can say actually. It's so comfortable. Yes, I know I'm saying a V10 muscle car. <laughs> no, it's a sports car actually. A V10 sports car is actually more comfortable to be dri driven than my other tuner car. I don't understand. <laughs> what I'm, I, don't, I don't even understand what I'm just saying but... Well, at least we defeat uh, the fourth GT, so that's a good thing. 
It's rare to see a 4 GT on anything goes actually. Usually it's just for focuses. Uh, what else? Anything that's hatchback related? Audi, yeah, the Audi and stuff like that. But anyway, my God, this guy is so nice. Oh, also, the brakes like also turn on, and the emblem, just like the set, and it's still doing it. Oh, I really love that. I really do love it. But yeah. I feel like this is more for cruising experience more than anything. I really love this kind of car actually. Just have fun on the road. Maybe get some tickets. <laughs> and try not to crash. Having a near-death experience would be fun. Not really actually. Um, yeah, you get the idea what I'm going to say. I'm, I'm just blowing this corner on 120 miles per hour on a road. Uh, you know, that's not exactly legal, but it's fun. <laughs> but yeah, Viper is a nice car, obviously. Oh, what's that? Hang on a second, I want to see that. I just want to see who is it? Unicorn girl named. Okay, it's just a mid. Oh well, I'm going off. Yeah, I guess that's it for the day. I mean, it's fun, but I cannot go recording this all day long because one, well, that will consume a lot of memory, and two, I have to upload it just today. <laughs> So yeah, I'll see you guys later.